the maxillary nerve block. The transcutaneous approach for the maxillary nerve block involves desensitizing the maxillary nerve as it enters the pterygopalatine fossa. The nerve can be located ventral to the rostral aspect of the zygomatic arch and caudal to the vertical aspect of the maxillary bone. The needle is inserted in a rostromedial direction between the caudal aspect of the maxilla and the vertical ramus of the mandible at the level of the junction of the zygomatic arch and the vertical aspect of the maxillary bone. The depth of needle insertion can be estimated by measuring the perpendicular distance from the skin to the medial aspect of the last molar. The needle should be directed towards the pterygopalatine fossa. You should aspirate prior to injection to avoid an accidental intravascular injection of local anaesthetics and other complications such as hematoma formation. The maxillary nerve block will produce anesthesia to the ipsilateral maxilla, including all the teeth, palate, and the skin of the nose, cheek, and upper lip.